If you are a music artist or you own a record label, YouTube has finally released a feature that everybody, including you, I bet, was waiting for, which is actually optimizing YouTube ad campaigns, not so much for video views, but for actual engagement and more importantly, YouTube subscribers. So I recently run two campaigns optimizing for subscribers because this feature is brand new, so I wanted to test it. Uh, first with my own new band, which I'm actually pretty excited about, but also with another band as well. So uh, I just wanna dive in into my dashboard uh, showing you all the different stats and how to actually set it up. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. So this is the campaign that I've run for my own band and this is another campaign that I've run for another band as well. These are the two videos. So uh, for my band, we actually went from zero subs to 410 in about a week. Uh, 15,000 views, 31 comments and 166 uh, likes. And for this other band, uh, Shading, I don't remember exactly the number of subs that they started with, but I think they gained pretty much the same. So like 300 something subs, um, 26,000 views, 87 comments and 650 thumbs up. The main difference is that um, with my own band, obviously we were starting from zero and although the response was, was pretty good across pretty much all of our socials, they were also getting some engagement from like warm audiences and their existing fan base. So numbers are always a bit different depending on the stage where you are at basically. But at the same time, nonetheless, I think it's super important uh, to know how this type of campaign can work, you know? So if you look at this uh, column, what well, this, yeah, this column right here, cost per conversion, it's basically the, the cost for each YouTube sub. And so the it could be also cheaper if you also include like tier three countries. We were only targeting uh, the US, Canada, UK, Germany, uh, France, Australia. So the, the main English speaking countries and that's the same for the other campaign as well. But with that said, again, it really depends on who your audience is and what do you want to do with your music business, you know? So um, like I said, you can now finally optimize for YouTube subs. And the cool thing is uh, before you were essentially optimizing for video views. So just trying to get as many people, like as, as many qualified people to your video and just basically hope that they will also so engage with it, so subscribing, commenting, liking, etc. But now the cool thing is you can actually optimize for YouTube subs, and as a side effect, let's call it this way, you can. I mean, you will. You would also get views. You would also get comments, likes, etc. So that's why it's really powerful. And the way that I like to do is to do it. So the one campaign optimizing for subs, right? but also have another campaign that is running in parallel that is just for video views. Although it's always like super niche and targeted as well but so you can get the engagement up so the subs the comments but also the views at the same time because if you look at the cost per view of the campaign that is that is optimizing for for subs is three cents per view and if you look at the campaign that is optimizing for views is half of that so 1.5 cents you could also run the campaign that is optimizing for subs uh, because that's a, that you would obtain a super healthy very very good ratio between the views and engagement but again this is completely up to you uh i spoke with a few people and they told me that they don't actually have that option yet uh and so if you don't and if you need help with uh setting up a campaign you can you can always reach out but i'm going to show you how to do it if you have the option to actually do it so you just go to your google ads account obviously you create a new campaign you choose create a campaign without a goals guidance, you choose video, and then from the menu right here, uh, they actually also included a new campaign type that is called actually video views, because before you would use something like efficient reach or something, I don't remember specifically, but it seems like they also added like an actual video views campaign, which is cool. Uh, and I think that's the one that I use for actual views. So I don't think that the type of campaign for video views now really matter. Uh, I don't think it makes a huge difference if you use this one or the efficient reach campaign. Uh, so whatever makes sense for you, honestly. So the type of campaign that I was talking about for YouTube subs is actually this here, this campaign right here um, that says get subscriptions and drive engagement on your YouTube channel with video ads designed to encourage valuable interactions. And so that's the one that you will have to choose. Uh, you will, the only thing that you have to do before actually launching this campaign is to link your YouTube account to your Google Ads account. And I'm gonna show you how to do it after the, this whole setup just because I don't wanna close this window right here, but that's pretty much the only thing that you would have to do. So, well, let, yeah, let's just set up a campaign. Let's just choose a random name. So test one, two, three. Like I said, this is the countries that I use on my band campaign. So as you can see, the, the main English speaking countries, and I also included uh, 
not a lot of European countries because we also plan to tour. And so I just wanted to start building a fan base in all these uh, different countries, languages, English, because I wanted people that are sort of more, I don't know how you want to call it, like more international, if that makes sense. Um, and then you can you choose maximize conversions. Uh, target CPA is useful when you know how much you were you are willing to pay for each sub, but especially because this campaign is brand new, you, you would have no idea. I didn't have idea either, so I would just go with uh, maximize conversions, daily budget or lifetime budget, completely up to you. Um, and then you cannot remove video partners on Google Display Network, which sucks, honestly, because the point is to show your music video just to people who are on YouTube, but at the same time, there's nothing that you can do about it. And so I also went with that. And then I would suggest to just do mobile phones. In my experience, like we've run hundreds of thousands of dollars on YouTube ads. And I found out that most of the engagement and just results in general come from mobile phones. So I would suggest to do that, but it's again up to you. But definitely don't do TV screens. That's just, no, don't, don't do that. Uh, you can do mobile phones and computers if you really want to, but I, I always go with mobile phones um don't necessarily so this is also a new thing where google is going to essentially optimize your video and um, do something like facebook does where they optimize your video based on the different placements because it looks like google are not necessarily adding more placements as in where the ads are shown but more like the type of formats um that they used to show these these ads you know so i actually left this on i believe yeah i think so uh, and then, yeah, this is the most important part. So the audience, the thing is, uh, and I might be wrong, but yeah, so you don't have a way to target specific YouTube videos, specific channels. So you cannot show your video before any other video on YouTube, which, which was a really good thing that you could do. Um, and so, but I actually think, and I'm going to show you on the other campaign that I've, that I've run that I actually did that. So. I might be wrong, but you cannot do it on this one, on this type of campaign, but you can actually do it on the video views campaign. But hold on, because I'm, I'm going to show it to you in just a few minutes. So in terms of the audience, I created an audience for my own band that I think was working. And so what I did is I think I created a few audiences based on a few websites. Um, for example, this one right here. Uh, my band is like hardcore metal. Um, and so one very uh, good, um, target website was actually this one where they sell merch so people who are into like buying merch like that are probably very good like a very good starting point as our potential target audience so i created an audience off of these website traffic um and that's pretty much what i did um yeah uh, i just did that uh, i left everything else here blank uh, but let me see if i can actually yeah i can actually show you the actual custom uh, segment and so, yeah, uh, people who browse websites similar to, and I, um, and I use these two websites. Well, this one and the uh, Deathwish Inc. is pretty much the same. So uh, that's what I did in terms of the audience. You can do a lot of different things. You can target based on, let me show you. You can target based on what people, what people browse, um, but also what people search on Google, which is very useful. And, and also people who use specific apps, which is also pretty cool. So yeah, uh, that's what I did in terms of the audience. I limited the audience uh, from 18 to 34 because I know that our audience stays within that range. Um, and then I just simply copied and pasted the URL of our video. And, um, and same thing for the final URL. Now, when it comes to actually writing the ad for your YouTube ad campaign, I usually keep it very simple. The only line that I customize is the uh, long headline. So this field right here. And I basically use four fans off or I try to sort of advocate some sort of feeling or, or mood. But in this instance, I went with similar bands uh, to my own band, uh, but then I kept the our band name, four fans of, name of the song, uh, what well, name of the band, name of the song, and then just the call to action watch now. So that's that's a pretty simple uh, ad, but at, at the same time, I find it very effective when, when you use the four fans of, and also when you target specific audiences, and especially because the, the target goal is YouTube subs. And so obviously, if for some reason, a pop fan is going to watch this, this ad, they will not end up subscribing. And therefore, YouTube is only going to optimize your campaign to people who are going to subscribe, which are more likely than not, are people who are actually interested in our band's music and genre. So 
the more you keep your campaign running, uh, the more it's going to optimize and it will reach your exact target audience because of the type of conversions and the friction that there is before reaching that conversion, if that makes sense. And then, yeah, once you are done with that, you just uh, create the campaign and that's pretty much it. Now, let me actually go back to the video view campaign. Okay, so this is the content uh, placement tab in the video views campaign. And I was actually right. So when you set up um, YouTube engagement campaign, you cannot target specific placements. So you cannot target specific videos or channels. But when you run a video view campaign, you can actually do that. And the funny thing is YouTube removed that option I mean, months ago because of the privacy laws or whatever. Uh, but it appears that for some reason you can actually do that now when you run video views campaigns. And so, I mean, that's that's awesome. And in fact, if you look at these, the, um, the video view campaign that I run, the, these are uh, some of the YouTube videos that I used as the targeting option because I really wanted just not random views, but I mean, very specific, uh, like views from a very specific audience, you know, because I mean, our genre is, so, is, is very specific. So, um, and yeah, and that's pretty much the same setup for the campaigns for this other band as well. I, I did exactly the same thing, changed the audience a little bit because they are different. Uh, they are more metalcore if you're into that stuff. So the audience was a bit different, uh, but the setup was pretty much the same. And so, yeah, I think I showed you pretty much everything. Um, yeah, so just to recap for the YouTube engagement campaign, I used, um, an audience off of website traffic and I optimized for that. For the video views campaigns, I used uh, YouTube placement. So I showed our video before other YouTube videos and other YouTube channels. So yeah, I just wanted to show you how this new feature works because again, I think that's awesome and I think that's really needed. And especially when we work with, with bands and artists and we run YouTube ad campaigns, they all won engagement and there was never really a way to deliver that or be able to actually track and optimize for that specific goal but now we can thankfully so we can i mean for my own band we can grow our grow our fan base in a much better way when it comes to youtube we as a company can run better campaigns for uh artists and um, bands and you as a music artist as a label you can run better campaigns for your own music and for your own artists as well so yeah i hope this was helpful in case you have any feedback or questions or comments let me know below and uh, until the next time take care